So, my clear lights, marker lights, hazard lights, and headlights are working. They're the right color. Um, they're not cracked loose or missing. My ambers, reds, and high beams are secure. They're not cracked loose or missing. My windshield is secure. Not cracked loose or missing. No illegal stickers. It's clean. My wipers are secure. They're not bent or broken. My hood, grill, and bumper are secure. They're not bent, broken, loose, or missing. My license plate is secure and clearly visible. Underneath my bus, I don't see any leaks or hanging hoses, and I don't see the bus leaning toward one side or the other. My mirror bracket here is secure. There's no missing hardware. And um, my heavy vehicle safety inspection certificate, my vehicle registration, and my safety diesel emissions inspection certificate are in place and up to date. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my engine compartment. I got my coolant reservoir, it's secure, there's no missing hardware, it's not cracked or leaking, the cap and hoses are tight and secure, um, and the fluid level looks to be in normal range here in the sight glass. Um, my washer fluid reservoir is secure, no missing hardware either, the fluid level looks right and the cap is present. Um, here I have my alternator, which is secure, it's not bent or broken, no loose wires as far as I can tell, it's belt driven. Um, the belt has no more than three quarter inch plate and it's not cut or torn. Um, here I, we have our water pump, which is not visible, but it's not leaking. Um, in order to check, well, it's not leaking. Uh, it's belt driven and it uses the same belt as the alternator, right? Okay, cool. So that's this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. <coughs> Top to bottom, my AC compressor. Uh, or compressors are secure. Um, there's no missing hardware, they're not bent or broken. The hoses and fittings coming off the back end look to be secure, not bent or broken. It's belt driven and the belt's not cut or torn. It's got no more than three quarter inch play. My power steering fluid reservoir is secure. There's no missing hardware. It's not cracked or leaking. The cap and hoses are present and secure. In order to check my power steering fluid level, I would have to remove this dipstick, clean it, put it back, take it out and make sure the fluid level is in normal range. I would do the same with my oil and my transmission fluid dipsticks in order to check their fluid levels. Um, next, my power steering shaft is secure. It's not bent or broken. It's got no more than 10 degrees of play and the U-joints on both ends look to be in fair condition, greased up, not loose or missing. My power steering gearbox here is bolted securely to the frame, no missing hardware, not cracked or leaking. Um, my steering linkages, are secure, they're not bent or broken, and more specifically, my pitman arm, my drag link, my upper control arm, and my tie rod are secured correctly or fastened correctly with their castle nut and cotter pin. Um, my power steering pump right here is secure. It's not bent or broken, it's not cracked or leaking. Hoses and fittings look to be in fair condition, um, and it is gear driven instead of belt driven. My air compressor here is secure, no missing hardware, not bent or broken. The fittings and hoses also look to be in fair condition. And like my power steering pump, it is gear driven. My frame is in fair condition, not bent or broken, no illegal welds. And that's our engine compartment. So now I'm gonna proceed with my uh, suspension. Hold on, 